Hi, my name is Mike Oglesby, and I'm a technical marketing engineer focused on AI solutions here at NetApp. And today I'm going to show you how to near instantaneously clone a data volume using the NetApp Data Science Toolkit. And so let's say I'm a data scientist and I'm working on an AI project within this Jupyter notebook here running in Jupyter Lab. Uh, and let's say that, that the data set that I want to use to train my model sits on an existing data volume. So there's a data volume out there on my NetApp storage system that has my data set on it. Uh, but for whatever reason, either I don't have access to, to modify that e existing volume or I don't want to modify that existing volume because you know, maybe someone else is using it or maybe it's the gold source of my, my data set and I, I just want to preserve the gold source. Uh, but for my training job, I'm going to need to modify the data set. And, and so I'm, I'm going to need to reformat it in some way. Maybe I need to normalize it. Uh, you know, may, maybe I need to, to restructure it so I, I can feed it into my training job and, and properly train an accurate model. And so the, the good news is I can use the NetApp Data Science Toolkit to near instantaneously create an exact copy of that existing data volume that contains my data set. And then I'll, I'll have a new volume, that, that newly created clone, that I can modify you know, as needed to support my, my project, my training exercise. So first thing I need to do is import the clone volume and the list volumes functions from the NetApp Data Science Toolkit. So let me run this import statement here. And then I'm going to retrieve a list of all of my existing volumes because I, I want to see a list of, of all of the volumes that uh, are currently existing on my NetApp storage system. Uh, and so I'm going to call the, the list volumes function and uh, I'm going to set check local mounts equal to true because I want to see if any of these existing volumes are mounted on my local machine. So let me run this. Uh, and and uh, I saved the result of this function in a variable here called volumes. And so now let's print the contents of this variable called volumes. And that should contain a list of all of our existing volumes. And sure enough, it does. You'll see we have three volumes, one called Project 1, one called Project 2, and one called Project 3. Local mount point is blank for all three of these, so none of them are, are mounted locally. And let's say project two is the volume that contains my data set. So that's the volume that I want to create a exact copy of. And in other words, that's the volume that I want to clone. So to clone that volume, all I have to do is call the clone volume function here. Uh, and I just need to pass in a, a couple of attributes. So uh, for the new volume name, that's the, the name that I want to give to my new volume that I'm creating that's, that's going to be an exact copy of Project 2. Uh, and I'm just going to call my new volume Project 2 underscore clone. Uh, then I need to give the source volume name, so that's the volume that I want to clone, uh, and that's Project 2. Then I'm going to set print output equal to true because I want to see the output as, as this executes. So let me run this here. And you'll see my, my volume was created successfully. So my, my clone volume was created successfully. Uh, and now let's retrieve a list of our currently existing volumes again just to, to make sure that we see our our new, our newly created clone volume in that list. So let me call list volumes again, and I'll save the result in a variable called volumes again. And let's print out the contents of that variable. And you'll see as expected, it's a list of all of our volumes. And you'll see right here, we have project two underscore clone. Uh, and you'll see here the clone field is set to yes. So we know that this volume is a clone. 
Uh, and the source volume here is set to project two. So we know that this volume called project two underscore clone is actually a clone of project two. Alternatively, if you're not working within a Jupyter notebook or if you're not working in Python period, you can use the NetApp Data Science Toolkit CLI functionality to near instantaneously clone a data volume. And so all you have to do to, to clone a, a data volume from the terminal is run this command here. So first I reference the NetApp Data Science Toolkit Python program. Uh, and then I give my command that I want to run, and that will be clone volume. Uh, and then I just have to pass in a few parameters. So the first is the name that I want to give to my, my new volume. Uh, and I'm going to call my new volume project three underscore clone. Uh, and then I need to give my source volume. So this is the volume that I want to clone. Uh, and I want to clone the volume project three. So I'm going to create an exact copy of, of the contents of volume project three, and I'm going to call the new volume project three underscore clone. Uh, and I also want to mount this new volume on my local machine. So I'm also going to supply the optional mount point argument. Uh, and we'll mount this volume at a directory within our current working directory called project three underscore clone underscore data. Uh, and because I am going to be mounting this volume as part of this operation, I need to run this command as root. Uh, and so I'm going to go back to the beginning of the command here and I'm going to add sudo dash e so that I'll run this as root. Uh, and now I run this command and I have to give my password. And it's creating our new volume clone. And you'll see the, the clone volume was created successfully uh, and it was mounted at project three underscore clone underscore data in our current working directory. Uh, and, and just to make sure that everything looks correct, let's print a list of all our existing data volumes. Uh, so to do that, we reference the NetApp Data Science Toolkit Python program again, uh, but this time we're going to run the list volumes operation. So let's run that. And there's a list of all of our existing data volumes. And you'll see here we have our new volume called project three underscore clone. Uh, here's our NFS mount target if we wanted to mount it on a different machine, but you'll see it is mounted here on our local machine. Uh, and it is a clone and it's a clone of project three. And that's it. It is that simple to near instantaneously clone a data volume with the NetApp Data Science Toolkit.